Welcome everybody again to this week's Mayor and Supervisors Update. Here we are live. It's Sunday, roughly one o'clock because I don't know what time you're watching this. But I'm Chris Carosa, publisher of the Men in Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel. And with me today are the mayors and supervisors of the people that we cover, at least some of them. The others will be in print later this week. Let's start with Eileen and the village of Scottsville. What's happening there? Okay, well, we had uh, in Scottsville, we had our village election on Tuesday, September 15th. And we filled two seats on our board of trustees. And those people will, for the coming four, four years, will be Kathy Carl and Nikki Whitmarsh. Congratulations to them, and we look forward to seeing them at the next board meeting. Our next, we will have an organizational meeting this coming Monday, September 21st, at the municipal building in the senior center. So it'll be uh, open to the public. And anyone that wants to join us for the organizational meeting is very welcome. Uh, the newsletter for the Village of Scottsville is out online. If you want us to email you a copy or send you a copy, please contact the office at 889-6050. Uh, a reminder, that it's leaf time. We'll be seeing lots more leaves on the ground than on the trees. So please uh, rake your leaves to the side of the road. Our village DPW will be around with the leaf truck collecting those leaves. Uh, Arbor Day is October 10th. We will be celebrating it at the Little Triangle on Grove and Rochester Street. The proclamation has been signed for Arbor Day. Uh, it will be a limited number of people there. I think it's 25. But please, if you're not able to come to the ceremony, do your own Arbor Day thing. Uh, let's see. Um, I will be out of the building this week. For, I'll be there Monday for our organizational meeting but I will be out doing staff training with the conference, New York State Conference of Mayors, and virtually, of course, but I will be doing that. And our office hours, because our clerk is doing some of the staff training, our office hours will be a little different this week. On Wednesday and Thursday, uh, the office hours will be 11 to 4 p.m. And on Friday, we'll be back to our regular hours of 7.30 to 1 p.m. And that's about it. Let me see. Oh, just to let people know, there was a water main break on North Road on, I guess, September 11th, but that has all been taken care of. So that's what we have in Scottsville. Hope everybody right. has had a good week. Thank you, Eileen. Mike, how about Lima? What's going on there? Well, I... Uh, as John is not on, we did have village elections this past week. Uh, congratulations to John Skiptunis and Josh Petratus for uh, their new seats as trustees on the village board and to newly elected mayor, John Carell. Um, they will uh, have their organizational meeting soon and uh, we'll keep about the business of the village. Uh, this past Wednesday, we had the actual grand opening of Johnny B's custom, custom barbecue. Uh, I did get to try the Shanks compactor plate with uh, brisket and tots and coleslaw, and it was delicious. Uh, funding uh, for that contest uh, came from the county, but the original source uh, was the homes and community renewal. Uh, folks from New York State who were also uh, represented there at the uh, opening. The elevator construction bonds were received for the town hall, so one step closer to construction start. Um, I know that uh, all kinds of building material is way delayed, so we're just being patient and waiting for things to start to happen here. Uh, sidewalk construction on 15A continues. Uh, you can see it from the Dollar General north toward Gale. 
uh, probably one, maybe two more pours, and that should be completed uh, all the way to Gale Road. Thanks to the Town Highway Department for uh, constructing the sidewalk. Uh, the new interim highway superintendent is John Sokolovsky. Uh, he will be starting this coming Wednesday, and so there will be uh, uh, five weeks or so of transition time uh, between him and Keith Arner, who is our outgoing highway superintendent. <clears throat> Please take the time to uh, introduce yourself to John and make him feel welcome. Uh, we are doing a internal audit of Town Water District 2. So this is folks who have water from the village line north all the way to the county line uh, along Route 15A, uh, Rexon, Slocum, tiny bit of Gale Road. Uh, in the past five months, we actually tripped over three houses with no connection. And of course, they're part of the water district and that has to be remedied. So since there were so many that all of a sudden came up, we thought we, it was a good idea to go ahead and uh, do a complete look through. <clears throat> uh, lastly, you can see that the national grid has been in uh, and around the uh, town hall and the parking lots. Uh, here they've been doing some tree trimming and installing some new poles. Uh, the town hall should have a fresh new supply of electricity in the next four or five weeks, new transformer, new feeder line, et cetera. And uh, we're very excited about that. So that's all I've got. All right. Thank you, Mike. Jerry, how's everything in Rush? Everything in Rush is pretty darn nice. We are the best kept secret in Western New York and I hope we can continue to keep it that way. We don't have anywhere near as much as Mike and Eileen reported on, but we are looking forward to the upcoming elections in November. And we are looking forward to the virus continuing to stay out of our area. And what I mean by that is Western New York and we continue to hope for some kind of CARES Act relief to provide us with some reimbursement for the expenses we've incurred in trying to deal with the virus. Uh, we will be publishing our newsletter next week, I believe that will be distributed to all residents. And uh, other than that, I think I should not say anything else to maintain our status as the best kept secret in Western New York. Excellent. We have John Carell on, but he is, uh, he's being a bit shy with his video. Hey, Chris. Good afternoon. How are you? Ah, there you are. I'm doing good. Okay, John, just in time. Uh, you're not on video, but that's okay. Why don't you give us an update on the village? Uh, Mike's already told us about the elections, but you can tell us more if you'd like. Yeah, so the, um, the elections just wrapped up and we'll be seating the uh, two new board members. Uh, Monday, October 5th would be our organizational meeting. And uh, we're also wrapping up our transition to the water and sewer online billing systems. So if everybody in Lima could have a heads up that they're gonna get uh, a couple of bills that are due in October. It's just unfortunately the way it's gonna work out, but um, the deadlines are gonna be very close together on that. Uh, but if they have questions, they can always call the uh, village office at 624-2210 and uh, talk to our new village clerk, Alyssa Sackett. Uh, she just took uh, the position about a month ago. So uh, she's getting settled in as well. Uh, I think that pretty much uh, brings us up to speed, except everybody might see the water tower is uh, under construction right now. Uh, last night I was out at the park and uh, looked over at the sun setting behind the water tower and it looked like uh, some sort of spaceship landing with uh, the safety rigging and everything around it. It looks pretty interesting. So uh, everybody in Lima is gonna be able to see the uh, work that's getting done to the, uh, the water tower there and Mike and I just attended a 
water uh, meeting for the county yesterday morning uh, regarding a master plan for the Livingston County Water and Sewer Authority and uh, trying to figure out how to have a more efficient, um, more redundant, and also uh, supplemental water supplies to our systems. Uh, water is so important that uh, many people tell me they'd rather be without power for two days and without water for two days. So we're doing everything we can there to make sure we have uh, consistent, safe and clean drinking water for our 700 water users. And I think that's about it in the village, Chris. All right, thanks a lot, John. Well, this is an abbreviated version of our mayor's and supervisor's update. Uh, anybody else have anything uh, to add that they may have forgotten? Seeing nothing, uh, we look forward to seeing everybody again next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Bye-bye for now. Thank you, Chris.